And, and the reptilian brain, interestingly, if we get into this uh, way that people are programmed, communicates through images. This is why images in advertising are so powerful in their manipulation of the reptilian brain, which, as you quite rightly point out, is, is the sexual center. Why? Because uh, with the reptilian brain, you have to keep one word in your mind all the time, survival. It's all about survival. So it perceives uh, the need for sexual uh, 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 reproduction as part of its survival. That's understandable. But also, it sees in the world that we live in money as fundamental to its survival. So m the whole money issues that people have, the fear of not having money, the, the, the wanting Stay more. there. This is key. Sex and money, all of it. Uh, key information. Long segment coming up uh, right there. We'll come back with the master plan. Stay with us. Newsflash. Unemployment is soaring over 10%. The dollar is plummeting, and banks are beginning to close their doors. Financial experts are saying we are headed for an economic depression. 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 The world is on the brink of total meltdown. Unless you expect the government to bail you out, you must be able to grow your own healthy food. Newsflash. SurvivalistSeeds.com has just released a brand new heirloom seed pack at a dramatically reduced price. Dramatically reduced. So you and your family have a long-term food solution. 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 The choice between between starvation and freedom is made by you right now. Right now. Go to survivalistseeds.com. That's survivalistseeds.com. Because you are almost out of time. Time. Survivalistseeds.com. You know what Revelation talks about? How the kings of the earth traffic in the souls of men. And you know, you read the old fables. And it describes kingdoms that were under spells, where they couldn't see corruption, couldn't see lies. And once you've committed to lies, little lies, then you start buying into the bigger ones. Torture is okay. Secret arrest is okay. You know, we're the good guys, but we're a country that loves death and destruction. And when you read the psychologists, the, the psychologists, the, 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 the uh, sociologists, the anthropologists, uh, the psychiatrists, the Ebba Bernays, 80, 90 years ago, they all brag how we're dumb slaves. They all brag how they're programming us, how, how they're manipulating us, how they control everything we do. They're on incredible power trips, and they put on this fake liberal facade, but they're a bunch of cold-blooded trash breaking up the family. All their major textbooks that we've shown you here say the family's their enemy. You know, when people say, oh, they want to break the family up, or oh, they want to dumb us down, that isn't just a figment of imagination. That's not just a statement or a, 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 a verbal fancy. It's the reality. And it's a group of humans setting up a predatory system where they engage in their predator hunting mode against their own people. And they're breeding us and dumbing us down to be more easily controlled. That's what David Icke's talking about. And when, you know, I just took two years of RTF, radio, television, film, the first textbook was all about subliminal messages on radio 80 years ago and TV 60 years ago and in movie theaters and how the billboards have it and how they use sex to sell and how they're hitting the reptilian brain. This is a fact. And so they're feeding through this virtual matrix, and that's what it is. It's not a physical matrix with us in tanks. It's our brain in a tank inside this bodysuit being programmed by the false world, by the image makers of television in Madison Avenue to keep us off the real world and the whole universe around us through fear, through the desire for money, sex, survival, all of this. But when you do what Christ said and turn loose, he that gives up his life gains his life. He that tries to save it loses it. That means when you're ready to give it all up and just don't care anymore and stop letting that program totally control you, then you go to the next level. And that doesn't mean we don't bounce back and forth between the higher mind, the cerebral cortex, you know, where they say the, you know, the cognitive and the soul's dwelling. And if you don't believe that, fine, that's your issue. And the, the, the animal brain, regardless, through this electrochemical computer, we are being programmed and manipulated. And the establishment brags about it. And they put compulsions and mental blocks in you through culture, through television, through the jokes they make on TV that then are repeated by people on the ground giving it reality in this plane of existence, not in the cyber world, 
the, the make-believe TV world that's now becoming reality, that it's not kosher to talk about these things. And so people are in a prison for their mind. David Icke, please continue. You're talking now, I've been a bit of a piece of paper in front of me, and I've just been ticking off little things, uh, uh, issues that you, you brought up, and um, uh, they come under one heading, uh, reptilian brain. Uh, from the reptilian brain, we get all the survival mechanisms, yes, for, for, for which... which break out into multiple different expressions of what the brain perceives to be uh, necessary to survive from. But we get cold-blooded behavior. We get the desire for power over. Power over comes from survival. The, the idea that if you have power over, then you've got a much greater chance of survival. It's one where the reptilian brains where we get a ritual, ritualistic behavior. I mean, these guys... Um, of course, a big time into their satanic rituals. But if you look at human society, Alex, it's, it's just a daily uh, repeating of, re of ritual repeating behavior. For the reptilian brain, we get the desire for top-down hierarchical structures of power. Look at the world. It's, a, it's, it's a, an expression of the reptilian brain. You were talking there about, you know, uh, uh, addictions. Well, addictions come from the, the, the reptilian brain. Add addiction to money, addiction to sex, addiction to to drugs and then you look at the uh the survival uh, mechanisms and how they play out through problem reaction solution when they say oh swine flu pandemic what are they, what are they saying that to they're saying it to the survival responses in the reptilian brain of oh my god survival do something yes compulsory vaccination yes anything terrorism oh yes war on terror um, weapons of mass destruction, yes, invade Iraq, oh yes, anything, oh my God. It's all through the reptilian brain because they understand how it works and, and we need to understand how it works because once we do that, the defense mechanisms start to go up and also we can start to observe our own behavior. When we're reacting to things in a, uh, an emotional uh, way without calm uh, thinking, then we can stop. I mean, I, I've been working on this for, for years now in myself. You get halfway through a sentence and you stop and you know you think, no, that's the reptilian brain being activated. And what you're doing as you do that, as you, as you recognize it, is you're stopping it having that reactive power over you that it had before. And you, you move into other parts of the brain in, in terms of the way that you filter reality and information and Situations. And those get more developed. You start seeing the universe more and more through the higher levels of the brain, and then knowledge just explosively opens where you can't even describe it. Well, how can you, how can you uh, accumulate real knowledge and awareness when you're spending the day reacting emotionally uh, all the time? And, you know, I would say to people, because, you know, I'm not sitting cross-legged on a mountain here saying, here, I'm, I'm the Buddha. I'm telling you all how, how it is, and I'm perfect. We all have uh, are in these uh, biological computers. The question is, are we going to let them live us, or are we going to live them? Are we going to live life, or are we going to uh, allow life to live us? Because most people allow life to live them because of these reactive uh, processes. Well, that's what the... John Carpenter is saying is they live, the controllers, we sleep. We're sleeping when we're in the reptilian brain, also tied into sleep. We are unconscious. We're really dead. And they live. It's all a big joke to them. Yeah, and, and if we can um, uh, start to uh, take control of our, of our reactions, and, and, and when you kind of come from this point of view and you, you just um, observe yourself for a few days, uh, just observe yourself and the way you react, and you'll see how many conflicts between individuals, arguments, um, uh, emotional responses that are right over the top, uh, and, and uh, the way that we immediately react to something instead of saying, hold on a second, take a deep breath, let's just calmly look at this before we start making instant decisions. Um, when, you, when you do that, you realize how many times a day the reptilian brain decides your decisions for you. It's unbelievable the number of times it happens. And collectively, of course, there's a collective version of this where you have the mob rule and all the rest of it, um, where the reptilian brain happens, ha, um, is manipulated collectively to have a collective response and emotional uh, reaction. And we've got to get control of the computer system uh, through our consciousness instead of um, having our consciousness at the back of the bus and the computer system with its hands on the wheel because that's what the conspiracy is about. While we're there... They got us. When we're not there, they've lost their, their ability to connect into us and therefore manipulate our perceptions. All right, let me expand on that. 
because it's been scientifically proven, as you know, but for listeners who may not, by thousands of universities for over 100 years, that mice and other animals know when a hurricane or an earthquake's coming days or sometimes weeks beforehand. They can also do double-blind studies where there's a 20-foot wall. You can't hear what's going on in the next room. But if people are agitated in the next room or being hurt, brain waves uh, you know, go into a a, 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 a a pattern of this array or being upset yourself, kind of that hundredth monkey. And the, the system is trying to suppress this awakening uh, or, you know, I mean, just in scientific terms, from people being, you know, in a higher level uh, when it comes to the use of their brain. So that's why they're putting the fluoride in the water. That's why they're injecting us with mercury. That's why they're feeding us the GMO food. All of this... Uh, that's why the television's dumbing everything down, lowering everything down.